morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you who are neither. I am Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you are watching Ramblin' with Rusty Starfield Edition. Welcome to Episode 3. So, last time, we made our way through the abandoned science facility on the moon of Crete, where we faced off with a bunch of Crimson Fleet pirates. We made our way up to the top of the building where we took on the boss man and took him out. After a little bit of a look around, we headed over to Jemison, where we were introduced to Constellation's members and the Lodge. Today, we are going to go around and we're going to sell all the loot that we collected last time and make a little money so we can buy some bullets for our gun. As you can see, we only have 83 rounds. Not going to be enough to get out there and get going. So, here we go. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. Alrighty, here we are in the commercial district. We're going to visit a couple of shops here and see what we can sell. Well, you're only as safe as your equipment out there. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals who have devoted their lives to distant travel. And while I've never needed them myself, I stand by everything we offer. You've never needed it? So what, you just fly out there bucking hmm, No, and no flying for me. Not... not my style. Yeah. So you've never really been to space. <laughs> Goodness, huh? no, I just couldn't. You're out there millions of miles away from anything, and if something goes wrong... I can't stomach the thought. I prefer solid ground under my feet at all times. And preferably a yeah, hot, fresh coffee within reach. Can't get those in space either. All right, let's uh, see what you have for sale. Uh, please do. I hope we have something that suits you. <laughs> get it? Yeah, that was kind of a lame dad joke there. Off to the next store. Maybe. Be careful out there. You know, I say nothing ventured, nothing gained. Living a life stuck in a building surrounded by a fence isn't worth living. It's not a life I'd want. Check. Rifle? Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help a guard. Contact him if you're interested. That sounds like a job we could do to earn a few extra credits. Let's I'm afraid, to this gal. due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Really? Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Okay, so standard government BS there. Um, they want your money, but they don't want to actually I hope we have treat you, you like a person. And what the hell you do you mean do besides anyways? providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? It's all in the name. We distribute materials and products all around the United Colonies. Never a dull moment. Always something going on, and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. Oh yeah, you would. Typical government employee. Just there for the paycheck. Alrighty. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. We're, we're headed out this way. And You're here because you uh, need something you can connect with. Hello there, Something Mr. you could count on. Am I right? Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. 
Well, what would you recommend? Well, that's not a simple question, is it? It all depends on who's asking. Hmm. I have my own personal favorites, but I wouldn't presume to know yours. Tell me, were you to find yourself in the unfortunate position of needing to use a weapon, what suits you best? Something up close and personal? Rapid fire? Is precision a consideration? Well, I am definitely not an up to close and personal type of guy. And yeah, it's just easier if everything explodes. I like that. But that's not me either. Um I really don't care as long as I'm still standing at the end, but I do prefer ah, to keep yes. my distance. Well, then personally I would point you towards Combatech. Okay, well. Combatech. Please, take a look. Go earn some money. Off to Sergeant Eunice. All right, here we are at UC Security. We're going to go in here and talk to Sergeant Yumi. Um, he's the guy I want. Well, Gotta hello. Love you hear about the job by any chance? Match up the here. officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. You did, huh? The sign. Gotta admit, I was against the sign at first. Felt cheesy, you know. Like we're hiring a dishwasher or one of those dancing clowns. But here you are. Can't argue with effectiveness. And if nothing else, New Atlanta security is just that. Effective. When we're fully staffed, that is. But we're not. Long story. And need some help. You interested? Yep. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? Uh, let's see. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. Uh, honestly, no, but I'm Now, a that partner. is exactly what we need. Someone willing to learn. We're not talking urban pacification here. This is safety and security. Easy. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Okay, well. Uh, you know, a good employee doesn't ask questions. Let me know if you he have any questions. just does the job. Especially in a regime like this. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. You are, of course, welcome at any time here at Mast. Same as any. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Really? You had an expectation? Statistical average, psychological tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Okay, so... Well, I, well, I told the time. Sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Hmm. Nothing Makes personal. Sense. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. Uh... We think non-UC-affiliated groups have their eye on it and are using it to identify field agents. Normally, we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Okay. Take the I map do that to the spaceport. You. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi, and the job's done. 
Awesome. And uh, well, I don't need to know any of that. Good luck with the mission. So we'll just head on out over there. Seems a little bit ridiculous you have to squat down to get that, but that's the way they wrote it. Doctor and I have talked about transferring to the same division. It did allow us to spend more time together. Good for you. Yeah, it's awful greenish here. Must be something in the atmosphere. And here we are back at UC Security. How's the investigation? And I've got your package. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Yeah, the writing's on the wall. Okay. As am I. And the best part is, since you're all part-timers, there's no paperwork. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. All right. Well, so much for that little bit. Probably one of those timed you missions. You see that scientist out in front of Mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? All right, there's another mission for us to go do. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Let's talk to this gentleman. Hey, no loitering. What? Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? Uh, um, I apologize for, for snapping. No, I'm definitely not all right. I've got work to do at the embassy. And our overly diligent security officer over there won't let me enter the city. Claims I need a diplomatic visa, which I have never needed before in all the time I've visited New Atlantis. Really? <laughs> and here I am biting your head off. Apologies. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time, could you please go to the Freestyle Collective Embassy and speak to a diplomat? They'll know what to do. Yeah. My good deed. Thank for the you. Day. I'll wait here until the embassy sends the cavalry. Not like I have much choice. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Only those with an appointment are allowed inside the embassy. Welcome to the Free Star Embassy. Is there something I can help you with? Mm. Uh, uh, let's see. Representative Kizom is being held at the spaceport by UC uh, Typical UC security. They try to bully us every chance they get and still manage to play the victim. I'll get this squared away with the folks down at the spaceport. Thanks for letting us know. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, well, a thousand credits. Nothing to sneeze at, but... Not really a whole lot either. Okay, next job. Let's see, let's go investigate the brownouts, I guess. There are always about a million things to do, and I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Hey! 
Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. You know, their lip movements just don't match up too well. But, um, let's see, well... Well, hey, since I you're here and Carl you. isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Well, um, how about a map to tell me where UC Surplus is? I think this is working. I only have a general view of things, but you should be near the first junction box. Look for it mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. That's it. Great job. So, that tripped a secondary breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. Okay. All right. You should be near the next junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. Okay. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end. Right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? You should be near the next junction box. And if those squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... Mm, the Trade Authority. This okay. girl is not just find very that and, uh, inspiring. Maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. Okay. The final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real tangle of cabling. Like 200 years of failed attempts to rewire things. I tried to fix it three years back and was crying by the second day. Gave up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order, but flip levers until all those circuits are powered down. Okay. Wow, you got it. Really well done. You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station, near where we met? Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Happy to help. Mm. Uh, Maybe in the short worse? term. But overall, it paid off. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. Hey, as long as you're willing to give me credits for it. It's like riding a cloud. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the Trade Authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever dealt with the Trade Authority, but Zoe is intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? Really? You need a babysitter? Okay. I've got you. Thanks. Back. That not? means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. Yeah, this gal is supposed to. Alrighty, and we're back. Yeah, I tried matching my walking speed to the NPCs in this game, and it's just basically a visit from Mast. How with the delightful. Controller. You'll have to remind me of your name, dear. I'm afraid I can't keep track of all you little worker drones. I'm Luisa Reyes. Well, you know that, because I've been in here three times. Yes, 
yes, of course you are. And what was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry, what? We traced the drain, checked the grid. It led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. If you're here to make unfounded allegations, it seems you'll have to get in line. Really? Really? Now what are you gonna do over here? You're just gonna stand here and stare at your bookcase? While you come up with a, uh, story? Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Uh, you know, th this uh, trade authority gal gives me the vibes that things are going to get rough. But I've played through the mission, so I know everything's going to be just Okay, fun. you're probably right. Just need to breathe. When she ever gets around to come back out. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work. But I'd do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location <clears throat> through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, yes, Ms. this Mafia. is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort of... Hey there, you should be getting close. Hello? Is this functional? I insist that you provide updates for any suspicious activity. Is that clear? And Zoe's here too, if you had a guest. We've agreed to work together on this. Once you throw the switch, we can direct you to the next junction box. There we go. That took some work. That's it, thanks. Let's just take a look here. Okay, you're going to want to head for box 45A. It should be near Apex Electronics. <sighs> you can't possibly be serious. Are you looking at the same diagram I am? 47B is obviously the next one. It's That's on the same level. B. Zoe, I know how to read. Ignore her. Head for box 45A, okay? Well, since uh, Zoe's the one that promised to pay me... I appreciate that you've listened to reason. The junction box should be just nearby. We'll have this solved in short order. Adequately done. Miss Reyes and I have both noted that the next node in this trace is not on any of the current diagrams. She means it's not in the well. It's somewhere on the surface. Which technically means it's not my responsibility. However, however, we agree that we all like to see this through. If you head topside, I'll pull up the diagrams. Hey. You should be getting close. Looks like it's somewhere near Athena Tower. Zoe it says there's a junction box on the building's exterior. I'm not sure why she knows that. One never knows when information might be useful. Okay, well, we're going to discuss that later. I'll check in once you flip the switch. Well, that's unexpected. Powering down that junction doesn't show any other connections. 
Clearly, the source must be inside that residential tower. Yeah, that would make sense. You know, I think I remember seeing a report about power problems on one of the upper floors. I bet it's related. See if you can get up there. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna pick a lock. Finally. I give you that. Transaction point zero zero one credits per transaction total value three hundred five thousand three hundred twenty six credits. Huh. Downloading. Oh, come on, go away. Downloading to external device and recent messages. My guys. Got creative with rewiring. You should have all the juice you need to run the program non-stop. Stop messaging me. Get to work. I expect my cut soon. Keep the damn door locked. Last thing we need is someone poking around. Even if Galbank notices the missing funds, they won't have a way to trace it. Well, now that's where the real money's at. You know you can't give Zoe anything, don't you? Sorry, Thank you for all your hard work. And for handing over that data. Yeah, Please. She offered me the money. So. Do you have something for me? Here's what I found. I'm glad you made the right decision. I'll look this over and make sure that Mast gets just as much as they need. Not a bit more. The Trade Authority will not forget what you've done for us. Yeah, 2,000 credits. All right, here we are back at UC Security for our ah. second mission. Ah. Prime has slowed. Ah, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to say, New Atlantis is the safest city in the settled systems. How hard could your job be? Well, safety doesn't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people. Yeah, well, I'm looking for yep. some work. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Okay. Good. Report back here when the matter's resolved. And let's make sure that's active. As soon as Take we get care. out of here. Okay. All right, here we are in the residential district. I'm gonna go over here to this bar and talk to the bartender. And my mother wanted me to be a doctor. <laughs> you know, if it seems like I'm cutting a lot out, I really am. Uh, a lot of load screens going on, and on my system, it takes a little bit for it to load up. I do hope you are enjoying your time. There is simply no so, parallel to the food you will find here. One taste, and I'm sure you'll agree. Eh, uh, maybe. Ah, a most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. Mm, the only thing better I wasn't witness to any theft. And both men were wearing rings, if I recall correctly. Mm. 
asking you to do Well, security? the one who stayed with UC security, Octavio, is a shorter man, handsome and refined. Uh, his favorite menu item is the Saint, I believe. The other, Hugo Fournier, is a tall, slender gentleman with a French accent. Excellent tipper, well-mannered, but a bit hot-tempered. <laughs> Okay, then, um, these two men dine together. Oh, yes, quite often. Uh, they had a usual table over in the far corner with all the traditional accoutrements. Music, candles, wine. You see where I'm going with this. Romantically but this involved, time, of course. But barely sat down before the argument got heated. Thankfully, security stepped in before anyone got hurt. I need to find one of the patrons. I assume involved. that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. Yeah. This place looks the expensive. The Don's Roost represents the highest quality, from the ingredients to the decor. No expense is spared. Anyone yeah. who has sampled our offerings will assure you it is all worth it. I bet you get your food from the same place the Chunks restaurant does. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Pardon. Ah, Hugo Fournier. Oh, I can't believe that Octavio. That liar, that manipulator, that... that... Yes, the man who... Wait, what? He's accusing me of theft? The nerve of that Lothario! Five years we were together, half a decade, and he threw it all away for that waiter. Uh, let's see, what happened at it the It was roost? supposed to be a romantic dinner, our last, before we pledged our lives to each other. But an hour before, I decided to do some cleaning to calm my nerves. I picked up a pair of pants he left on the floor and... Out falls a napkin from the dawn's roost with a number written on the back. To think he had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same restaurant? I was livid! Still, I went to the date and held it together just long enough for the waiter to serve us. Then I went off! You don't even know what you uh, were going off on him about. He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. Uh, well, you know, I agree. It, it's yours. He gifted it to you. But I kind of want to see where this option takes us. Let's I don't care. I I'm not giving it to you. Persuade him. Uh, persuade a person, you must make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. A limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, I'm getting that ring back one way or the other. No, I'm not going to be a brute about it. Your gift is conditional. I do not agree with that. Once it's given, it's given. So, let's see. I don't want to insult him either. Let, let's go with, uh, let's be reasonable. That does sound reasonable. So long as you don't hand the ring over to Octavio. And defying security is not smart, not in a Taltarian regime. So you would rob me too. 
You're not giving me a choice, are you? Ugh. Fine! I may be extremely agitated, but I want no part of a UC prison. Here. Yeah, that's about what you expect with this kind of government, so... Officer? What can I do for you? Sir, I finished my investigation. Sergeant? Ah, oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Let's see. Oh, I can steal the ring. Or I can give it up. Or I can lie to him. Well, here's Excellent. the ring. I'm sure the victim will be pleased to know their property has been returned. You acquitted yourself well again. I dare say you might have a knack for police work. Here, take this. It's well deserved. Okay, another 2,000 credits. I've got to say that uh, I don't actually really agree with some of the choices I made in that last mission. Now, when somebody gives you an engagement ring, it's a gift. It's your property to do with as you please. No matter what happens in the future, it's not dependent on an actual wedding or anything. It's yours. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Let's see, where is... Oh, well, oh. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Let's see. Well, yeah, let's just... Uh... Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can... Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellations. Let's see, so... We're back in our room where we started. Now, we're going to leave it there for the night, ladies and gentlemen, and those who are neither. Thanks for joining me. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses.